I'm Alessandra Barrett, Senior Content Editor for JOC. I'm with Pravinder Jahar, CEO of Bloom Global. Thanks for joining me today. It's good to be here. In creating a digital supply chain, what aspects do you think are the most critical? Sure. I think if you think of it, right, so digital supply chain is a buzzword these days that everyone wants to use. The reality is, in computing, we have stopped making analog computers about 50 years back. Right? So, so digital is not something something new, <laughs> but maybe I will give you a context of what, what how I view the digitization. When you look at supply chain as a whole, or logistics in particular, logistics is about 10% of GDP. And when you look at where that cost is, there's a lot of manual work. Right? So there are people who do dispatch. Uh, driving itself is manual, so when you talk about autonomous trucking, that's, that's around that, that manual uh, activity uh, too. And part of digitization is that how do you do automation of the work which can be done using, uh, using digital technologies. That's part one of digital supply chain. Second one is that there is also a lot of paper involved. Right? Whether it's bill of lading, whether it's custom declarations, whether it is kind of uh, contracts, there's a lot of paper. And sometimes we take that paper and we say we are storing it as a PDF or as an image. It's still paper. Yeah. Right? So it's just paper that requires a human to go and understand right. what the intent was. For a digital supply chain, the second focus area is that how do you convert that, that paper or that English or French or whatever language it's written in into a machine readable form that, that a digital technology can read through. What are your thoughts on the potential impact of machine learning and AI to evolve the supply chain? From technology perspective, right, so if you again look at it, there is artificial intelligence, uh, which is a broad topic in itself. Right? So, so machine learning is part of it, uh, but there are also things like deep learning. Right? Uh, and there's a technology called neural networks, which is used as part of the deep learning uh, too. There's also blockchain as a technology, which a lot of people are, are talking about. In my view, all of these technologies, AI, machine learning, uh, robotics process automation, uh, blockchain, they go together to build a platform on which you can digitize your supply chain. Examples would be, like, so, so let's start off with simple automation. Robotics process automation tries to look at what are the repetitive tasks that are being performed by humans today and how do you go and just kind of automate those repetitive tasks. So there is not really intelligence into the, those, those tasks when you do it. Robotics process automation is kind of step one for automation, but then you get into what's intelligent robotics process automation or cognitive automation. Cognitive gets into how humans think and how do we make decisions and can we start capturing AI technologies, right? What that human decision, decision making is. Then you get into things like knowledge management or deep learning, right? We talk about kind of paper and take contracts as an example. Contracts at the end of the day in logistics or supply chain, whether it's for procurement of goods or procurement for transportation, are very structured documents. They're not English, there's legalese, right. that's the term. Right? <laughs> uh, so you can actually structure one, you can use kind of knowledge ontologies with AI to go figure out that how do I convert those contracts so humans don't have to read it. And then that's I can right. have an AI as a technology to go and digitize, uh, digitize them. Same thing for machine learning, because that can be used for predictive analytics. Blockchain, right? uh, for, even for us at, uh, at uh, uh, Bloom, we are focused on using blockchain along with AI for digitizing your contracts. We call it smart contracts, uh, which are part of it. Or using blockchain for traceability, which goes again with the with the end-to-end -end visibility uh, component. So all of these technologies, there, there are a lot of new technologies, a lot of buzzwords, but advances in the le recent years, especially because of companies like Google and Amazon and others, have made it kind of these technologies easily accessible to supply chains. And, and, and they will have a tremendous impact on, on how we view supply chains going forward. What are the most pressing needs in logistics execution, do you think? Sure. I think um, when you think of logistics execution, and what we mean by that is, for example, how do you do booking of a uh, rail container? 
so it's a Bloom Global, which used to be Reg 1. The Reg 1 stood for number one reservation system for domestic railroad containers, right? So that's part of execution. Or you look at that, how do you go do booking with ocean carriers? Or how do I get a dray carrier uh, function? Those areas are all kind of necessary areas for you to move goods. So our view is that you have to focus not only on execution, you also have to focus on two other areas. One is uh, visibility. Right? Uh, if you don't have information, or if it's not visible, you can't really manage it. Right? So if we focus on that, how do you go do an end-to-end -end visibility? And second is decision support and use of AI and optimization techniques to make the decisions that can be executed uh, effectively. Right? Uh, so their uh, supply chain and logistics executions are not new topics. Uh, ever since kind of humans started trading, uh, we have been doing supply chain. Ever <laughs> since kind of we started moving goods from one place to the other, sure. we have been doing logistics uh, too. Uh, its daily focus is that how do you do it in the most efficient uh, manner? And how do you convert the focus from, from execution to customer satisfaction? How do you start focusing on that if, if your customer is Home Depot, what are their needs? And, and how do you make sure that kind of Home Depot's customers, which are consumers or, or, or construction companies, how do they meet their own needs? And all of that is part of kind of this, uh, this triangle of that decision support or optimization, visibility, and logistics execution. And at uh, Bloom Global, we are focused on all three aspects. Right? How do you use AI and machine learning and optimization for decision support? How do you have end-to-end -end visibility? Uh, and we truly mean end-to-end -end visibility. And then how do you execute your logistics decisions on a single digital platform? Thanks for taking time to sit down with me today. Uh, thank you, Elsa. I've been speaking with Pravinder Jahar, CEO of Bloom Global.